na kay Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte raw ang huling desisyon tungkol sa pagpapasara at pagsuspinde sa operasyon ng mahigit dalawampung mga minahan sa bansa. Pero sa ngayon, wala naman daw direktiba ang Pangulo laban dito ayon kay DNR Secretary Gina Lopez. Ibinunyag din ni Secretary Lopez na may sumubok daw na suhulan siya. Itinanggi naman niyang pinipigilan siya ni Finance Secretary Sunny Dominguez sa pagpapasara sa mga minahan. May report si Joseph Moro. Pirmado man ni Environment Secretary Gina Lopez sa mga closure orders sa mga minahang hindi po masasay sa nagawang mining audit ng DNR. Siya na mismo nagsabi pwede pa rin itong ipawalang bisa ng Pangulo. The President still the President, no? I mean, he can overturn. It, he's, he, at the end of the day, he, he makes the decisions. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in the cabinet meeting, uh, his last closing remark in front of everyone, we say, I, I agree no? mm -hmm. that there shouldn't be any mining industry in watersheds. Let's see, no? politics is so unpredictable, <laughs> di ba? Nobody told me to quit pa. Bukod sa 23 minahang pinapasara ni Lopez, meron pa siyang ibang minahan na pinapa-audit. Kabilang dito ang tampakan mining sa South Cotabato. Ma'am, how is your... A uh, relationship with uh, Secretary Sunny Dominguez because we understand his family uh, has also interest in mining. I think it was Tampaca. No? Should it operate, that's the largest mine in the country. <laughs> Itinanggi ni Finance Secretary Sunny Dominguez na meron siyang interest sa Tampaca mining. I was involved in mining in two, uh, two times in my life. One was between 1999 and 2003, when I was the CEO of PASAR. The second involvement I had in mines was in 2006, when I was invited to rehabilitate Rapu Rapu Mine. Since then, I have had nothing to do with mining. I have no mining interests. Uh, I personally have no investments in mines, I have no shares of stocks in mines. Sa laki ng operasyon ng tambaka, nag-aalala na si Lopez sa lawak ng posible maging pinsala o mano nito sa kalikasan. Ang kaso, nakakuha ng Environment Compliance Certificate o ECC mula sa Environmental Management Bureau, EMB, ang tambaka noong 2013. I asked the EMB guy, why did you do that? And he said because there was an order from the Office of the President. Will you I allow this? in favor of it at all. Sinabi rin ni Lopez na may nagtangka o manong sa kanyang manuhol. A friend went to me and then she said, Gina, if you sign this paper, um, the person only the mind, he didn't even tell me, will, will give me 6 million a month. Sabi ni Lopez na pag-usapan nila ni Dominguez ang closure order niya sa cabinet meeting ng isang araw. Pero itinanggi niya ang mga balitang pinapahold ito ni Dominguez. Understand what he said. What, 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 what happened there is they want to make sure that I followed rule of law. And I did. You know, I mean, if you take the processes one by one, because they were scared that, <laughs> I mean, who in the, I mean, what I did is pretty something, di ba? 23 mines, oh my God, no? I support following the law. There is a mining law. I support following the law. That is all. Joseph Morong, GMA News.